All right, so we got <laughs> the TL in the garage. Thing is <laughs> disgustingly dirty. Like it is neglected, but never disrespected. Shit. All right, let's go uh, ahead and uh, so, first things first. I'm gonna pop the hood. Hua. Yeah. Take that off. Take the key out. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, here's what we're going to do. I didn't get the stick to hold it up, but that's what's going. And then the runner's underneath, so let me go get my little stick. Because I'm too poor to afford any of those shocks. Those gas shocks. Good old sticky stick. And then we're just gonna prop it in. That way it holds it up. Okay, let me see. There it goes. Pop this up. Okay. Give me a second. It's still not low enough. It's so hard to do this with one fucking hand. And now it fell all the way to the bottom. Fuck. Alright, you guys need two seconds. Alright, now that we got it up, cool. So let's go ahead and take this off. Nice thing, look at that. Jeez, neglected. Neglected, neglected, neglected. All right, so this is a J35. Let's, let's stack it up, let's see. Let's see the difference in size. Apparently, it's bigger, and the bigger, the better. Okay. Come on. Come on, bitch. Check out something. That's it. That's it. Dropping everything. All right, cool. Got it. Oh. <laughs> I do like this, though. I like how it has that on top. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dang. Now I see. Look at that. Oh. Look at the size of that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, so let's uh, yeah, let's get into it. Throttle body, the whole nine, everything is coming off, and then we'll get to the runners as well. In order to access the rest, you gotta take off that top plate. So let's get into it. I'm gonna set up the camera, get the tools, and show you how it's done. All right. All right, so we got our tin. So that'll crack off these plates and the little bolts inside that we need to access to take off. And then from there, the rest should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Also, when you guys do you put your bolts back in, make sure that you guys go at different angles or start patterns. You don't want to go in a clockwise or counterclockwise. You want to go like here, 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 right? So that way you evenly disperse. That looks bad. Look at what the fuck? Who the fuck is messing with my car? Do you guys see this shit? <laughs> oh, I wonder what could be the issue. <laughs> anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm glad because I don't really take this car out anyways. Yeah, so I'm gonna get it. And then we're gonna get back to it. Let me double check. Yep. Yep, they are 12s. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11. 11 
and then disconnect this tube, that tube, this intake, intake from there. There's a couple of lines, a couple of clips, and then it should come straight off. So we can do that, and then yeah, we're gonna compare the difference afterwards. All right, so we got it out pretty easy. So now we got to get these out. These are the runners and we have to replace a few eights in there, pop the fuel line, uh, this little power steering, I think, to get in there, right? The bracket, you got to move it, but uh, we'll see. We'll take a crack at it. Just to anticipate coolant leaking, All right guys? From here and from here. I uh, try to push it up, but I can't. Ow. Yeah, it's definitely just spewing out. Whatever. It's fine. There, it's right there. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and compare sizes, but look at this, look at this. She look at the sheer size of it, right? It's a lot more beefier. I will say though. Wow, even this feels actually lighter than this. Than this. Eh, a little more or less the same. Anyways, so yeah, now that we got this off, um, let's get these runners out. <clears throat> Alright, let's do it. Alright, guys, so we got the fuel injectors off. Um, we disconnected the cables right here. And now. We're going to get the intake runners off. As you can see in the video, there's bolts here, 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 and then underneath. There, 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 there. And then once we get those off, it should be able to come off. But first, we're going to remove these because they're in place right now. And it would be a good time to take them off. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So in order to get out these little studs, uh, what I did was I just got the 12 nuts. And then I put one upside down in reverse and then one on top so then you tighten them out and then this one should be able to like once you tighten this upwards this one on top should be able to go counterclockwise on threading this one so quick pro tip yeah they're they're easier to get off when they're on the car because you don't have to wiggle them around and shit to get them off or loose so pro tip okay. all right so we got the first set of runners out kind of tricky but Real quick, the best way to do it, um, you have your bolts here, here, yeah, well, your nuts here, here, you have two bolts back here, and then you also have a bolt back here. The way that I did it was I, I, uh, I adjusted the rock sensor, right, uh, clip, and it goes behind this wire, so it's in between here like this. And what I did was I took off the 10 from this side right here, and then I shoved it in there gently, because apparently these are notorious for cracking, and you don't want rock nod. What is it? Not rock nod. Uh, knock rod. Yeah, because they're very brittle. So I'm just gonna double check to see if it's okay. It looks okay to me, but um, they say that you should change it. I'm just gonna leave it for now. Maybe I'll change it. We'll see. But uh, yeah, once you get that, you'll have enough space to fit a little thingamadoog 
a little, what is it, 10? 12. 12 and then get the bolt out by hand. Just be very careful, you know, take your time with it. Don't rush it. And then now I have access to all these ones. And I believe there's one back there. So we'll find, find out how to get that one too. So, all right, guys. See you guys in a little bit. Uh, all right, guys. So I got it off. Um, I'm going to give you guys a pro tip. Maybe not a pro tip. Maybe just a fucking dumbass tip. <laughs> but in order to get that bolt off right there, you have to remove this harness because it, it's too fat to, <sighs> to fit down your ratchet. But um, so what I did is basically I cut it because the bolt, see that you can tell where I cut it. The bolt is underneath. It's right. I don't want to even show the camera. It's, it's down there. The point is it's down there. Okay. And I can't get to it. There's a way to get to it, which is right there, right? But in order to get to that bowl, I have to remove this. And I don't have time to remove it, so I just cut it. <sighs> Luckily, I didn't destroy the shit out of this, so that way the, the, what's it called? The harness is still intact, keeping it away from the heat. Um, you could remove it and then rewrap it in some heat, but it's your call, it's still in pretty good condition, so. I'm gonna leave it as it is. And now I'm gonna take off the rest of the runner. So that's it. Once we're done, the install is a reverse of that, and then we should be good to go. So, all right, guys. See you guys when it's all installed. All right, boys. So we're back. Uh, we got the fucking intake runners, and you can see, right? They're definitely more hollowed out. But I was having a hard time getting the fucking injectors to get in and line up where the bolts are at. So these holes. And I was pushing and I was pushing and I was trying to shove them down, but they wouldn't go. And so I was getting freaked out like they wouldn't fit. Pro tip, just fucking spit on them. Not, not, not like that. Like, <laughs> here, here, hear me out. So on here, I'll put this back in real quick. Just one sec, one sec. Okay. So look, on here, all you got to do is lube up, lube them up. So spit on it, spit on your fingertips and then rub them against the rubber parts, like the rings, these things. So yeah, and then it'll slide in because I'm I'm over here pushing and shit. And I'm like freaking out because I'm like, it's not sitting, it's not sitting. So I was like, what the hell? So a little bit of spit on the fingers, right? And like wipe it in and then it slides in. So for all those <laughs> who are having trouble, just, just remember to spit on it, all right? All right, we're gonna get done with it. And then next is the intake manifold. So let's do it. All right, guys, so it's in. A um, couple of things I did have to do was shave this sensor down. So I basically just got a little knife and I just like, right? And then it's in for this. I don't know what it's called, but the one that was on it was this one. And this switch doesn't, it doesn't um, clip on. So I just swapped it. And literally it's the same thing and so now it clips on um, yeah I'm about to put everything back in uh, I just got to put this a sensor I gotta find so this plug goes to a sensor that's on the manifold it's a 19 mil and it goes right there I forgot the name of it but it's this thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drill a hole somewhere <laughs> and find a place for it, so I might uh, stick it in the, she right there. I'm just kidding. I'll probably put it in the intake, the cold there, after I find a proper spot for it, but I mean, yeah, it's pretty much done. Um, couple of tips. It, because I'm filming it, it's taking me quite a while, but once you watch it over, uh, Rewatch it. Some of the trip, tick. Uh, some of the tri tricks, some of the tricks and tips that I throw in there will save you a lot of time. It's just it takes longer for me because, like I said, I'm recording it, going back, hitting uh, pause, so on and so forth. So, but uh, yeah, now it's good to go. So I'm gonna get it up and then see what it sounds like when it starts and how it drives. All right, guys. Well, there it is. She's finally in. Everything's reconnected. I'm about to turn it on. All the sensors, wires, and plugs should be done. Um, I'm going to go test it. Test it. Drive it around for a minute. See what it feels like. And then I'll get back to you later once the computer adjusts itself. Because it does need some time to learn. So, but yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, 
feel free to subscribe, share. And until next time, guys, see you around. Peace. Just kidding, I almost forgot the most important part. See if it turns on, it doesn't explode. Fingers crossed, guys, here we go. Nice. Okay, sounds good. Idle's good. No check engine light. Definitely a lot more throatier. It's doing something, look at that. It's shaking. Kind of. I don't know why it's shaking so much. Alright, well. I'm gonna take it for a drive and I'll let you guys know what happens later. If it chills out or you know. Oh there it goes. It's, it's starting to calm down. It's still shaking a little bit, but. I think it's just idling. Alright, I'll let you guys know.